Hey, this is Nick with Comic Experience Sci-Fi, and it is my genuine thrill to be sitting next to Nicholas Hammond, the very first actor to play Spider-Man and Peter Parker in a live-action context in the late 1970s show, which aired on CBS. And Mr. Hammond has had a wonderful career as a child actor. He was in The Sound of Music, and we learned you were in The Lord of the Flies. Yes. And okay, now what the fans are waiting for, tell us how you got involved in the Spider-Man project. Well, um, I was, again, I was doing a play uh, in Los Angeles. I was doing uh, an Oscar Wilde play, The Importance of Being Earnest. Who knew that uh, the night that the CBS executives came to see the show, I didn't know they were in the audience, and the next day I got a call asking if I would come in and talk to them about playing this character I had never heard of in my life called Peter Parker. And the more I heard about it, the more interested I got, and they got interested, and we all decided we wanted to just go for this and make the guy as believable and real as we possibly could. So that was our um, that was our objective. And I have to say, listening to people here today, it's it's wonderful to hear the stories of how many people found it a really enjoyable show when they were young. Yes, and you were part of a pretty big boom at the time. There was the Hulk, there was Doctor Strange, there was Wonder Woman, there was a Six Million Dollar Man. How did it feel to be part of this superhero craze of the 70s? Well, you know, it was that. I mean, in, in some ways we were kind of fumbling in the dark because, I mean, at the time we shot the pilot to Spider-Man, there were no other shows that were actually on the air yet. Uh, Hulk was in production and the others were, were soon to follow. So we had no idea how the public would react to this. And frankly, I had no idea this kind of fan base existed. And then when it aired on CBS, and we were the highest rated show of the year for CBS, and suddenly you realize, wow, there are a lot of people out there that read Marvel comics and that are great fans of Stans and great fans of Spider-Man. So I was, I was honored to be a part of it. And are you planning on doing any more shows like this? Well, you know, it, I, I've, I've sort of got the bug here because I've enjoyed this. This is the first Comic Con I've ever done. But everybody keeps talking to me about New York and New York and New York. So I'm really quite tempted the idea of sort of putting my hand up to see whether there's any interest in having me at the Comic Con in New York. I think you'll find there might be. Mr. Hammond, thank you so much and best of luck to you. Thank you.